And I believe we are live. So, good evening, Count Beauty. Good evening, Vitali. Good evening, Renyard. Good evening, Laurie. Good evening, Ronan and Oksana and Julia Richmond and Patricia and Valentin and Opa and Cuarenta as well. So, brilliant to have you all here. Okay, we're going to carry on with what we were doing last Sunday. This is this article about what remains of, um, or what's going to remain of big cities and skyscrapers uh, as part of the fossil record. Hi there, Manny. Hi, Manisco as well. Great to have you. Um, so it's going. It's talking about what's going to be what uh, archaeologists or geologists will find in the future. I know they're going to find a, a layer of plastic as well. So hi Hadi and hi Paula as well. Great to have you. So let's see. This is the last one we did last time. If the lowest levels have managed to remain above water. Only the bottom one or two stories will remain standing, surrounded by a rubble layer of fallen debris. Um, this is talking about what's going to be left of the Shanghai Tower. So, De Baker, I'm from uh, the UK. I'm British. Hi there, um, Bikram, and hi TW, and Vibes, and Power of Vocab as well. So, here we go with the first question. It's time to rock and roll. Hey ho, let's go. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, the connection looks pretty good. Okay, it'll be, yeah. Hi, Shakib, great to have you as well. So, the doomed, inevitable, bound, inundation may come from the sea or the collapse of the massive Three Gorges Dam higher up the Yangtze River. Okay, this is talking about the uh, sinking of Shanghai and uh, what will happen to it in the far future. Okay, so we've got lots of inevitables from Count Beauty, from Vitali, from Vives, from Oksana, from Valentin, from Opa, from Renyard. However and but. However is a bit more formal, but the meaning is the same. Laurie goes for inevitable. Rejuvenation, to make young again. Yeah, uh, what I need is a rejuvenation process. So, the doomed, inevitable, bound, infallible uh, inundation may come from the sea or from the collapse of the massive Three Gorges Dam higher up the Yangtze River. And we've got inevitable from Julia Richmond, from Patricia, and from Paula. Ha, unavoidable, says Hadi. That's a good synonym, Hadi. I like that. Let's see. The doomed. If something is doomed, then something is going to bad is going to happen. Um, the project was doomed from the start. Inexorable undation, unstoppable, the same as the word from last time vibes, very good. And Ronan says inevitable as well. Um, bound. Um, let's see. Um, the inundation which is bound to happen, yeah? If something is bound to happen, it's certain to happen, yeah? And if you call a person infallible, they can't make a mistake. Okay, bound to happen. The, yeah, very good. You took the words out of my mouth, Oksana. The inundation, which is, the, which is bound to happen. Yeah. Um, but I can't use it like that. The bound in an inundation. Yeah, we can't use it like that. Yeah. That's very good. So, um, TW for inevitable. Okay, so if something is inevitable... It is going to happen. It is bound to happen. It what it you can't stop it. Yeah, the city may be dormed. Ah, stalwart, stalwart reporting in. Great to have you, Leffy. Love, lovely to see you. I hope you're well. Synchronization are uh, two things working at the same time. So let me put the next one up. So this first one was quite easy. Something is doomed. It's certain to have disaster. 
bound something is bound to happen but we can't use it the bound inundation to be bound to happen uh, if somebody's infallible they never make a mistake but this is inevitable huh. but as it floods the water will bring in vast amounts of slush muck mud soot grout and sediments that will cover the ground floor and subsurface levels like a wax seal yeah oh we've got lots of different answers so Shakib goes for um uh in in in, in yeah it uh, says infallible you can't make a mistake so we've got lots of different answers here which is really great we've got mm, uh, mud from count we've got muck from leffy we've got slush from vibes we've got mud from mammy case said i said ah mud from opera mud from ronan mud from paula soot from oxana valentine goes for mud laurie goes for mud Renyard goes for mud, Patricia goes for slush, and Hadi goes for mud. So, this is really good. What is slush? It's a definite question that needs to be answered. What is muck? What is soot? And what is grout? Yeah. Ant Cam is back. Yes, definitely. <laughs> let, me, let, let me lean further back. I love it. Mm, I don't th so so Shakib melting stone like on road to synchronize to put things at the same time dip card so Julius goes for mud as well slush what is slush yeah yeah this is the one you c partly melted snow thank you Vitali muck is a kind of excrement muck is uh, undefined yeah muck is something dirty it's just okay yeah slush is is water ice yeah um when it when you when it snows it starts sometimes it starts to melt and you've got a mixture of ice and snow this is slush yeah so good evening for learn um muck is just something dirty it's too general yeah mud you know is a mixture of water so what about soot and grout these are two much more complicated ones yeah i'm going to give i'm i'm going to admit the right answer here is mud okay oxana says soot uh you get soot from burning something soot is the carbon when you burn something um, some of the carbon is not burned and you get bl a black deposit that is snoot soot yeah slush is ugly snow yes yes you have slush on the sidewalks woof you can compact slush and throw it at people's faces pretty nasty so the only one left is grout <laughs> And by the way, grout is a material, uh, a, a building material, S -s soot from a chimney. You get your chimney swept to get out the soot. Yeah. Huh. Where there's muck, there's brass, very definitely. Yes. Huh. Soot, soot is an, uh, something that comes out of a chimney, yes. You use grout normally to hold a window in place or you use it to hold tiles in place soot comes from chimneys yes soot's the black thing inside the chimney all up the walls grout in between the tiles thank you dampu um oh okay so you use grout for um for tiles it's when you put tiles in your bathroom you have this white thing this white sticky stuff and you use that to stick your tiles to the wall and that is grout so it's got to be mud in this case the other word i wanted to use was silt yeah but silt fits fits very well yeah so silt would also work but mud mud is just a mixture of uh, earth and water yeah. Oyin, exactly, Paula. Oyin is soot. 
Um, and I think Grout Massa. Hi, Manji. Great to have you. After 500 years, only a low-lying island would remain where the tower once stood. Barred, lined, striped, streaked, banded red by oxidised iron left over from the four immense steel super columns that once held it in place. Yes, more, more or less, Soraya. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's actually cement plus sand plus some sort of glue as well. Yeah? Okay. Plaster. Yeah, more or less. Plaster would do as well, TW. Okay. Yeah. So, after 500 years, only a low-lying island would remain where the tower once stood. Barred, lined, stripped, sorry, striped, streaked, banded by an oxidised, by oxidised iron left over from four immense steel super columns that once held it in place. The real story will be below ground. Sludge. Sludge is a good, sludge is a good word for learn. It's better to use black grout to de decorate. That's very good. Wow, thank you, Dampu. That's really, really kind of you. Thank you, Dampu. Okay, hi, Amin, as well. Wonderful to have you as well. So, Oksana and Leffy go for lined. Valentine goes for striped. Count Beauty goes for lined. Manny goes for barred. Opper for barred. Vibes for striped. Rainyard for lined. Paula says she, not a clue. Laurie says streaked, TW says streaked, Hadi says streaked, and uh, Leffy says, wow, $39. I do believe these are rupees. <laughs> Leffy, you and your currencies. So this is actually very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Um... A sophisticated recipe has lots of different recipe, uh, different ingredients. So we've got streak for TW for Hadi for Patricia. Ronan says bard. Ah. Low lying in a, a, a lower area. It's not. It's not tall. It's really quite short. Streak. Hell, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jerry. Jerry goes for streak. Ah. Okay, Oksana, having checked, maybe Street would do too. Okay, so let's look at this. Barred. Barred. It's got bars in it. No, a, w a window is barred. Yeah. Um, it's definitely not barred. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's not barred. Lined. If something is lined, it's got Line, a line round the outside. It's not lined either. If it's striped, it's got equal lines. Yeah, and the, like the stars and stripes, the American flag, stripes. So it's like somebody has painted lines, but straight lines. Banded. You have different bands, and again, bands are straight. Thank you, Ronan. That's really kind of you, sir. Wow. Thank you, Ronan. So, thank you, Ronan, and thank you, Dampu. Thank you both. Yeah. Yeah, Leffy says, I bet you've done some streaking. That's very good. That's the other meaning of streak. Okay, the right answer is streaked. I'll explain Leffy's meaning of streak in a minute. Yeah. So, a streak is an irregular line. Yeah? If you look barred, line, striped, and banded, all of these ha are regular lines. But this is after 500 years, and there's this irregular streak coming down. Yeah? Um, his face was streaked with mud. Yeah? Uh huh. That's all right. It's. Every little bit helps, Roland, Ronan. Uh, Leffy's al always on about that. Streaked as in marble. Yes, the veins in marble are streaked. 
yeah it's an irregular line yeah and streaked is it is definitely the word notice also the verb to streak um, means to take all your clothes off and, ru and run across the field at a public event yeah a streaker They've been streakers at football matches, and I guess there's a streak. So a, a streak here, it's like an irregular line, yeah? Um, so, for example, raspberry ripple ice cream has, is white with streaks of red, irregular lines. As Patricia said, like in a piece of marble, yeah? The, the lines are irregular, and this is a streak. Yeah. You push the red buttons. Yes, hair streaking. That's very good. He put streaks of uh, white in his hair or streaks of grey. Yeah. Okay. Streaks are um, irregular lines. There. Let's see all of the others of these. These are clear straight lines. Whereas streaks, these are irregular lines. And that, that's the point with them. Okay. Shanghai Tower has five subsurface levels, including shops and restaurants and parking space for 1,800 vehicles. Entombed, suppressed, engrossed, stifled in thick mud, these spaces will be preserved against erosion and begin to fossilise. The Pompeii effect, if you like, says Zalasiewicz. Okay, so streaked like zebras. That's very good, Jerry. I love it. That's another good example. Yeah, although the edges of zebras are quite regular, and I think I might use lined or banded, but streaked is certainly good for a zebra. A winning streak. That's great, live. Yeah, <laughs> a winning line. So we've got engrossed for count entombed for leffy entombed for julia stifled by opera entombed by valentine engrossed by manny entombed i like how poetic it is says oxana entombed for tw a streak of cruelty a line of cruelty yeah there was a streak of cruelty in his character covered with yes in says Manny, entombed for Laurie, entombed for Renyard, Hadi goes for entombed, so does Ronan, so does Surya, and so does Patricia. Let's see, to suppress means to hold back. So, for example, I suppressed my anger, yeah? Um, to hold something back, to keep something down, but no. Um, to engross, if you're engrossed, you're really, really, really interesting, um, interested in something. So I was engrossed in the film. I was engrossed in my book. Yeah, um, I hope you are engrossed by this live stream. I hope it's engrossing. Stifled in thick mud. I guess stifle might work. But normally to stifle is um, to either to stop something from breathing, yeah? But entombed is a much better answer. I would also say stifled probably by, stifled by rather than stifled in. Engrossed in my reading. That's it, Paula. Very definitely. I was engrossed in my book. Enshrined. Yes, enshrined. That's very good. A streak of insanity in the family. Yes, very definitely. I love it. That's good, Hadi. Okay, so stifled. Stifled gives the idea of unventilated. So this room is stifling. Please open a window. To stifle, to hold back. A stifled yawn is to hold something back. That's very good. Whereas... <laughs> Stifle a scream. Ah! Yeah? Okay, but entombed. Entombed is buried. Yeah? It's like it's in a tomb. So it's entombed in thick mud. Yeah? It's completely buried in it. Yeah? Okay, so entombed. Very definitely entombed. I didn't write it. E-N-T-O-M-B-E-D. Yeah. Ah! 
and that goes there. I will try and make a video on that, Shakib. Um, it, it is on my list of videos to make, but I didn't do it this morning. So, huh, stifling bureaucracy. Okay, almost immediately, water making its roadway pass lane down to the lowest levels. Uh, it, uh, it will react with the calcellarious materials in concrete to form cathemites, stalactite and stalagmite-like growths that form in human-made environments. Here, entombed like a mummy. That's great, Patricia. I love it. Suffocating, stifling. That's it, Laurie. Yeah, a stifling room for learn means very stuffy. Okay, so we've got way for count for Valentine, for Julia Richmond, for Huddy, for Paula, for Oksana, for learn goes for lane, Vitali goes for way, vibes for way, way down for une. Hi there, une. Um, Patricia goes for way, Manny for way, make on. To make your way, to make one's way, yes, that's it. That's it, Ronan, to make one's way, this is the collocation. Opa says way, so does Renyard. Way, way, because it's a random route, it's a streak, that's it, Surya. Yeah, and Laurie goes for way as well. Also notice, uh, to make one's way, makes its way. If you would make your way to the front, please go to the front of the room. Please make your way uh, to the exit. Yeah, it's no no problem, Suhei. Yeah, have your way with. Well, that's very different. Yeah, Have your wicked way with. <laughs> Okay, so, but to make your way, it's not to make your road, not to make your la path, make your lane. Make your way, make your way. To go, make your way is a synonym of, of to go, yeah? So, uh, in the rush hour, uh, in the evening, everybody is making their way home. Make way, make one's way. Notice to make way, Hadi, uh, what well, is not Hadi, it's Adriana, means to make room, make way, get out of the way, yeah? Make way, please, move out of the way, yeah? To make your way, to go. Okay, here, yeah. again. These will continue t to grow for thousands of years. So these stalic tights and stalic mites, in, uh, these will continue to grow for thousands of years, transforming the shopping mall into something likewise akin, like, not unlike, to a horror movie set. Yeah, so we've got akin from Leffy, from Vitali, from Opa, from Count, from Oksana, <coughs> Skywalker. Okay, Luke Skywalker. And akin from Valentine and Renyard and Julia Richmond and Patricia. Okay, and we've got akin from Surya as well. So, like, we can't say like to. If there was no two, it would be fine. We've got a kin from Paula from TW, a kin to from Hadi and from Ronan. Yeah, a kin to. This is the thing. Likewise, um, something, something that is no. Likewise too. No, I think yeah, a kin sky and a kin Skywalker. Yeah, his father. You're my father, Leffy. Okay, similar to, akin to. Not unlike, but again, no to. Yeah. My way, my method. Yeah, this is my method. Yeah, you make your, I make my way in my way. No problem, Boris. So the answer is a, akin. Yeah, akin to, similar to. Yeah, yeah. Kin means family. I think 
it comes from the same root, I think, but kindergarten comes from, the I think, the German word kinder, meaning children. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, kin. Kin are talking about blood relatives. My kith and kin, my family. Um, kin, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely the same word. Something alike to. Yes, you can, Suhail. Yes, very definitely. Something alike to. Something alike to a. Uh, yes, it would work. Mm. Yeah, akin for for learn as well. That's brilliant. Mm. Okay, if humanity is still around, most things of value will have been removed, stripped, dismantled, denuded, out before the tower is completely abandoned. Perhaps not it, not everything. Kin, family, Daphne, Surya. Uh, next, so next of kin. Yeah, you say next of kin, nearest family. Okay, so Valentin goes for dismantle. Count Beauty goes for stripped. A kindred spirit. That's a good phrase. Ah, uh, Adriana, somebody who has a similar feeling. Stripped for Leffy, removed for Oksana, stripped for Opa, stripped out, says Julia Richmond. Look at this out. This is really important. There. Stripped for TW. Kith and kin, a kindred spirit. There. Stripped out, says Jerry. TW for stripped. Renyard for stripped out. Let's see. Removed out. No. Dismantled out. No. Disnu denuded out. No. It's got to be stripped. Um. Akin. An adverb meaning likewise. Ah, uh, me akin. This is this is akin to. Let's see. Akin is an adjective. Yeah. Yes. Strip and denude both take of. Stripped have been stripped out for Patricia. Stripped because of the preposition says Laurie. Stripped out. So will have been removed. No out. Will have been dismantled but you don't dismantle things you dismantle something that you put together you take it down so i put up the tent and then i dismantled it i took it down yeah um i put they put scaffolding over the face of the house and then they dismantled the scaffolding denuded of yeah i guess denuded if there was an of would work as well thank you fun Okay, out is a dependent preposition with stripped. Well, it's a, really a phrasal verb because otherwise to strip means to take your, clo your clothes off. Um, will have been stripped. The, the out here, stripped out, is only um, uh, an amplifier, something to make it stronger. It modifies it. It makes it stronger. Yeah. Yeah, stripped, ah, oh, so, will have been, will future, will have been. Okay, yes, it will have been. Uh, before that point arrives, these, thing, these things will have been done. So it's looking at a point in the future and saying will have been before that. Yeah, um, before you arrive tomorrow, the work will have been finished. Uh, uh, okay, and okay, so let's see. Denuded forests. That's a quite a good collocation, Patricia. Thank you, fun, as I said. Okay, stripped off. Normally, to strip off is to take your clothes off. I stripped off and jumped in the water. Manji was here earlier, Leffy. Pepax, no, I don't know, and VG. He's still off on his jaunt. Not stripped off, no. Stripped out, because it's fixed and they pull it out. Strip, 
I think stripped off the surface, but stripped out is something that's installed, is the idea. Alchemized. Mm, I'm not quite sure about alchemized. Stripped of one's little privileges. That's very good. Taken apart. Taken off the scaffolding. Taken from. Stripped out. Yeah. Stripped out for Hadi as well. Strip tease, as Laurie says. So to strip off. Normally for me to strip off is to take my take your clothes off. Yeah. Torn apart. I would say torn out in this case. Okay, but, well, it's, that's a pleasure because this will have been is an important tense to be able to use. It's something that has happened before a point in the future. So, to strip off, to strip off the surface, whereas to strip out something that's been installed, denuded of, deprived of, dispossessed of, shorn of, those are good vibes. Um... I think I, I would say stripped out is probably um, a an adverb in this case, um, pa uh, Paula. Although very often even I have great difficulty seeing the difference between uh, prepositions and adverbs. But it's stripped out of the building, off the surface, but out of the building because it's installed. Denuded. No, you can use denuded for other things as well. Um, the tree was denuded of leaves by um, a defoliant. Peeled. That's it, Adriana. Stripped off. Peeled. Stripped out. Pulled from the inside. Okay. Aluminium in the ventilation system. Stainless steel in the food court. Maybe even a few cars in the garage levels will be left to play, act, practice, perform remarkable transformations. So we've got perform for vibes for Vitali. Strip suggests rapid movement. Yes, it does, Patricia. Oksana goes for perform, Opa for perform, Manji for perform. Julia Richmond goes play, T.W. goes perform, for learn goes play, Laurie for perform. Wiped out means to destroy completely. No, um, the the uh, the um the Aborigines in Tasmania to the south of Australia were wiped out by the common cold. An iron like. Ah, well, to strip the surface, to peel, and okay, Jerry goes for play, um, Valentin goes for perform, and Ronan goes for perform. Okay, so let's look at these. Woof, there's a great big lag here. I'm sorry about that. Let's hope it gets it gets better. Um, okay, so play. No, an actor plays a role. Yeah? Ha. Huh. To perform, to undergo, to perform a transformation. Okay, so, to undergo a, a transformation. That's good, Surya. So, we got perform from... Wow, I'm a little bit lost. Well, from Renyard Patricia, from Amin, from Suhail, from Hadi... To decimate, to kill off. Yeah. Yeah. No, no witness. Yeah. Okay, so let me read it again. Um, aluminium in the ventilation s system, stainless steel in the food court, maybe even a few cars in the garage levels, will be left to perform... Remarkable transformation. So you perform a transformation. Um, yeah. I'm British. Yes, James. James Blunt. I'm British. Okay. At least it's not Anthony Blunt. To act. No. To act is to do. Is people act. Um, to practice. 
to do again and again, no, to perform, to perform an operation, to perform a transformation. Eradicate is wipe out, yes, very definitely. So, to perform, yeah, to, because to perform, your performance is how you do something, yeah, um, a high performance car, this car performs very well. Yeah, but to perform a transformation, not play, not act, it's to perform. Okay, and the next one's going to be quite easy. Okay, so definitely to perform a transformation. Yep, it keeps buffering like it's 2006. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm sorry about this. I've got a huge lag on the line and there's almost nothing I can do about it. Um, here. Yeah. Left to remarkable transformations. That would certainly work, Surya. Yeah. 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 It's like it's 1999. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, let me continue. Wow. The lag is, is just steadily getting worse and worse. Okay. At first the car will simply corrode, oxidize, rust, tarnish. But as iron dissolves well in anoxic, without oxygen, water, once the oxygen level decreases, its metal components will begin to dissolve. Or perhaps a part of the chassis will mineralize, reacting with sulfides to form pyrite. A brilliant performance, as Patricia says. Okay. Yeah. A little red Corvette. <laughs> okay, I love it. A brilliant performance as an actor. No problem, TW. Great to have you. So, yeah, dial up internet. Yeah, no, I think dial up internet would probably be slightly better, Leffy. Okay, so let's see. We've got Rust for Vitali, for Vibes, for Count Beauty, uh, Corrode for Jerry, Rust for Rainyard, Rust for Paula. Rust because of, uh, of Simply. Ronan goes for Corrode, Rust for Manji, Corrode for Opa, Corrode for Leffy, Rust for uh, Laurie. Okay. Let's see, to tarnish has the idea of oxidize, but tarnish is to get dirty, yeah? Um, silver tarnishes. Hadi goes for rust, Patricia for corrode. Yeah. Suhe, um, oxidize, I'm a Kellis, lol. But what is the name of iron, o iron oxide? In English, Suhe, because I'm actually a chemist too. Julia Richmond says corrode or rust, very similar. Yeah. As the verbs corrode or erode, wear away. Erode, wear away. James Blunt goes corrode. Yeah. Laurie's not sure about rust to be a verb. Stripped out, removing part of a machine, corrode for Amin. Okay, this is very interesting. So, oxidize. Car corrodes, iron rusts. Hmm. Ah, rust as in rumblefish, says Adriana. A tarnished reputation. You know all about a tarnished reputation. Okay, so technically, corrode, oxidize, and rust all fit as verbs. Silver tarnishes. Yeah, I guess the beautiful finish tarnishes. But which of these do you think is best? Simply. Corrode, oxidize or rust. Which one of these do we use most commonly? Well, a car is made of iron. Yeah? And the most common one here is rust. And rust is the best answer. Um, ru rust talks about iron. Corrode talks about any metal. 
and oxidize actually talks about anything anything can oxidize <clears throat> there salt yeah salt salt makes cars rust um salt corrodes the car and the car rusts yeah okay so but the word the most common word in english is rust rusty to rust as a verb rusty uh, as a, a, a word in English is very, very, very common. Hey, I'm trying to get this to stay in the middle. Okay, let me just make this fit properly. And 26 it, and there we go. Hey, rust. Okay, so, hey, Adriana says oxidized. Rust for Julia, rust for Laurie, rust, rust for Paola. Because of simply. So, Yes, simply, very definitely as well, uh, makes it stronger. Yeah, to rust. Something rusts. Hmm. I think nearly always. Yeah, the, yeah, it's intransitive. I'm going to give you that very definitely uh, vibes. Yeah, garages use the word corrosion because it's a posher word, Leffy. Yeah, yeah, it means they can charge you more. Yeah, salty rust. Salt causes things to rust. Okay, so let's look at the next one. The iron steel beam, the iron in steel beams or embedded in reinforced concrete, kitchen implements or even tiny quantities of iron in the speaker of a mobile phone will all procure, secure, accomplish, acquire a glittering sheen. Even whole rooms, a food court kitchen fitted with stainless steel worktops might be transformed into fool's gold. Rust metaphorically, very deafening. My French is very rusty. Yep. Simply, that's it. Simply rusted. So we've got acquire for Vitali for Oxana. Corrode is more technical. Yes, rust is much plainer. It's much, much more common. Acquire for Valentine for Ronan. Good evening, Firdaz. Ah. But, okay, yes, but uh, rust is, rust is iron, iron oxide, iron three oxide. Jerry goes for, huh, okay, he says plain, plain rust. Procure for learn, acquire for Renyard, acquire for Count, procure for Opera, acquire for Patricia, acquire for Paula, acquire for Julia Richmond, acquire for Firdaz. Huh, absorb. Nope, absorb doesn't fit very well, Adriana, here. Yeah? Because to absorb is to take in from the outside. Uh, fool's gold is iron pyrites. It's um, a, a mineral made of iron that looks like gold, but it's not gold. Yeah, And people say, oh, I found gold. Look at it. I found gold, but it's not. It's iron pyrites. Okay. Hadi goes for secure. Suya for acquire. Yeah. Procure is active. Acquire for Manji. Acquire a patina. Yeah, oh, I love that, P Patricia. Yeah, a patina is like a surface. So to procure means to go out and get. Yeah, to buy, to beg, borrow or steal. Yeah. Mm, no. Let's see. You need to do something to procure something. Yeah, um, I need to procure some food for tonight. Procure for lorry. Yeah, and Leffy's got some f uh, fool's gold. To secure. To secure means to make certain you have, to make certain that something's happen is going to happen. Uh, I, I'm going to secure all the doors and windows. Yeah, um, I need to secure a good supply of um of fish to accomplish this is somebody doing something yeah you, an accomplishment is something that you manage to do he procured me theater tickets i would probably prefer 
Rostam, he procured theatre tickets for me. It's normally to procure something for somebody. Yeah? But here, acquire. To get. To obtain. Yeah? Um, it happens. Yeah? Uh, to procure, you've got action. To secure, you're making certain. To accomplish is talking about achievement. Yeah. Iridescence, yes, it will have an iridescent surface. A sheen is a shiny surface, Suhei. Um So if I cover my body in oil, you will see a sheen, like a bright shine. And that is a sheen, it's a shiny surface. Plastic, okay, plastics protected from the harsh, raucous, gruff, acid, sour effects of weathering <coughs> and UV light will be among the most patient materials. Shiny sheen, that's perfect, Leffy. Mm, I'm not sure, Rostam, maybe. Yeah, the example of the native speaker who knows all English. Oh, James, there are so many English people who don't know their language. I'm sure most of you know a huge number of words that people don't know. Goroido. Yes. Ha, when mass is lost or eroded. Oxidized is a thin layer. Gorosion, erosion. That sounds very Latino to me, Jerry. So, vibes goes for harsh and mean for harsh. Accomplish a feat. Very good. Three quarters of the stream. Yes, Slipknot, but you still got a quarter left. Good evening, Slipknot. Vitali says harsh. Opa says harsh. Valentine for harsh. Count Beauty for harsh. Procure knowledge or acquire knowledge. Both. Both, Soraya. 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 Both of them. Both procure knowledge and acquire knowledge. I think procure, you probably have to work harder to get it. Laurie goes for harsh, so does Oxana, so does Manji, so does Julia Richmond and Hadi and Slipknot and Paula and Reynard. Fiendaz says raucous. Brilliance, sheen. That's good, Suhail. Yeah, a brilliant, a, a shiny surface. Harsh for Patricia, harsh for Rostom, harsh for Jerry, harsh for, harsh for Ronan. So what's what's raucous? Yeah, harsh for for Ronan and Soroya as well. Ha, huh. raccoon-like. No, huh. raucous. It's for for learn. <laughs> okay, raucous means loud. Yeah, a raucous party. Yeah, harsh for Suhail as well. Um, when people get drunk, they become very raucous. The more uh, they drink, the more raucous they become. Raucous, loud. Gruff means angry, bad tempered. Yeah, the three billy goats gruff. He said to me in a gruff voice. Rah! Yeah, acid effects. Well, weather isn't acid, and UV isn't acid. And sour, sour is another word for acid. It's got to be this word harsh, meaning hard, biting, breaking. Yeah. Yeah. Raccoon. A raccoon is, is an animal. It's this striped animal. Raucous. A raucous voice. My voice is becoming raucous as well. Yes, it, it certainly works. Sour is for food and drinks, yeah. Sweet and sour sauce, yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Okay, so let's try the next one. No one knows exactly how long they will last, says Zalasiewicz. But an analogy might be pulled, drawn, called, passed with another long-chained polymer. If a bug happens to become stuck in some melted plastic before the tower is sealed off, it may be preserved like the insect in amber in Jurassic Park. So the question is which verb goes with an analogy? An analogy is where you, you say that two things work in a similar way. Yeah, there is a similarity between the two. 
Yeah, sweet and sour pork. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Okay, so. But an analogy might be pulled, drawn, called, passed with another long chain molecule. And then it gives this analogy with Jurassic Park and the um, insects in amber. Okay, so. Axi mode. Okay, so we've got drawn for Oxana, for Vitali, for Count Beauty, for Julia Richmond, for Ronan, for Slipknot, Opa goes for Past, drawn for Renyard, notice Suhail, drawn with an N because uh, it's an irregular verb, yeah, drawn, ha, huh, drawed. Maybe you can use drawed nowadays. It doesn't sound so good to me. Laurie goes for drawn, so does Surya. Ha, raucous in Parliament. Yes, very definitely, Hadi. Drawn for Valentine. Draw for Vibes for Manji. Drawn for Patricia. Good evening, uh, Alex. Ha, both of them are fine. The answer is drawn. To draw an analogy, says Alex. Drawn for Jerry. Drawn for Rostom. Dissonant, rasping, loud voice. Yes. Drawn for Paula. Fiendaz goes for past. Yeah. A milestone of cinema. Yes, it was a good story. Yeah. Uh, conclude, you draw conclusions. Drawn in his irregular verb, says Alex. For me as well. Yeah, Raccoon-like, actually. T draw is a terribly... <laughs> Poly service word. Yes, it is. We use draw for millions of things. Okay, you draw an analogy. Drawn. Yeah, you don't pull an analogy. You don't call an analogy. You don't pass an analogy. I have the idea that this drawn is like drawing a picture so that people can actually see it. Uh, bonjour, Nabim. Great to have you. Ça va, mec? <laughs> Drawn with you, probably drawn by you. Okay, so to draw an analogy. Okay, very definitely. Draw an analogy. To draw the curtains, to draw the line. Huh, a horse-drawn vehicle. Yeah, okay. Over time, the plastic sheets will carbonize and become brittle. Sheets of aluminium in heating, troughs, ditches, ducts, trenches, sluices, chutes, will link up with silicates and slowly change into china clay, providing a perfect environment for fossilization. Draw, drew, drawn. Yes, Alex, well done. He drew himself a glass of beer. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, because it, the beer is on draft. There. To draw on one's experience, to pull on, luck of the draw. That's good, Patricia and Leffy, and Rostom as well. Okay, here. Realising, that's the idea, Adriana. So, Opa goes for ducks. Sorry, to, sorry, drawn to you. Okay, that's good, James, that's fine. Oui, très bien, et vous? Wow, ça va très bien. Okay, oh my God, says Oxana. <laughs> Leffy says ducts. So, this is what goes with heating. Heating troughs, ditches, ducts, trenches, sluices, chutes. Yeah, ducks for Vitali, ducks for Opa, ducts for Suhail, ducks for Lori. Yeah, chutes for Count Beauty, ducks for Julia, ducks for Manji. Yeah, ducks for Alex as well. Johnny Quest, very definitely, and Top Cat I used to watch when I was a kid. Let's see, a trough is a long container where animals drink, yeah? Or the bottom of a wave is a trough. A ditch is like uh, a long uh, place where water can run in the earth. Yeah. Ooh, between ducts and pipes. Uh... An aqueduct. I think a, a, um, a pipe is probably one type of duct. You could have um, uh, the eye ducts. I think a duct is a place where something flows from one place to another, where a pipe is much more specific. 
So we've got uh, ducts. This one's very tricky. It's very physical. It can only be one thing. You need to know all of the words. Ducks for Jerry. Hi, Shelby. Ducks for Firndaz. Benny the Bull. Yeah. Ducks for Suriya. No, not trenches. A trench is like a ditch. A trench, you dig a trench. A trench is a place in the earth. A sluice is a place where water flows. Yeah, normally uh, 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 an overflow. Sluice is to do with water. And I think this is talking about heating and hot air. And a chute is where you put something and it falls down. Yeah, um, a laundry chute in a building. A chute is like a tube and you put something in the top and it falls down and arrives at a specific place at the bottom. Yeah. Woof, it's not easy, James. So, Huddy goes for ducks, Adriana for chutes. Roston says he dipped, ditched his girlfriend. Patricia goes for ducks. Crest and trough of the wave, that's good for learn. Poof. It, it's years and years of, of teaching, Ronan. You get better at it. A, no, you, a duct, two ducts, fine. Hi, Shelby. Uh, a sleuths, a sleuth found a sleuths. Huh. That's difficult to say. Duct definitely says Oksana. Oh, yes, there are... There are lots of words in the English language that I don't know. There are too many. Pipe is normally cylindrical. That's very good, Jerry. A duct can be uh, any sh uh, any shape. Digging a trench during a war, very good. Draw a conclusion. Yes, to draw a conclusion, to draw a deduction, very definitely for learn. A shoot found on a trench. A shoot is where something falls down. A trench is used in war, very definitely, Laurie. Ha, a rubbish shoot, that's it. But it's ducks, as Ronan says. Okay, a duct. This is uh, something that takes something from one place to the other. The tear ducts in your eyes, tear ducts, bring water to your eyes when you cry. Yeah? Heating duct. A system of aluminium tubes found everywhere close to the ceiling for ventilation and heating. That's it. Exactly, Oxana. A sluice gate for flood management. Very definitely. Yeah. A trench in war. Very the Marianas Trench at the bottom of the sea. Okay, so good. Yeah, you're incredible. You've got it, but the people in this, uh, Rostam, the people in, in this channel have got incredible vocabularies, most of them better than native vocabularies. So, less miserable. I don't understand, don't get that one. Okay, yeah, we are very wordy people, ah, rather, wo rather than worldly. A duct gland, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a tube, there are ducts. A the bile duct as well. Yeah. When Leffy last didn't come to class. Lost in translation. It's okay, Adriana. Okay, 100,000 years after the tower was abandoned, the clay will have powdered, uh, will have hardened into shale. Shale is like a semi-rock. Into shale. Powdered, studded, nailed, buttoned with the ghostly impressions of plastic knife handles, life switches, or the knob of a gear stick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> les misérables. Okay, so. Ah, now I get it, yes. Cry, I get it now, I get it, I get it. So, let me read this again, because this one is really very hard. 100,000 years ago, the tower was after the tower was abandoned, the clay will have hardened into shale. Powdered, studied, nailed, buttoned, with the ghostly impression of plastic knife handles, light switches, or the knob of a gear stick. 
Ham. So, let's see. Who? Hmm. I think you said studied to start with vibes. So, Vitali goes for powdered. Oppa goes for buttoned. Count Beauty goes for nailed. Leppy cries every time VG's not here. Oksana goes for studied. Shelby said the 15th was the last day you cried. Studied for Valentine. Studied for Ronan. Studied for Amin. Studied for Manji. Nailed for Suhail. Surya for studied. Jerry for studied. Yeah, about the poor. Victor, Victor Hugo. Studied for Patricia. Okay, so a stud is like something that is normally round and it maybe sticks out a little bit. Studied for Ronan. Studied for Reignard. I thought you were going to have great difficulty with this. You could have studs in your ears as well. Yeah. Studied for Laurie. So it's like these are embedded into it. Studied with gems. Yes. Yeah, her uh, jewel-studded fingers, studded. Yeah, it's like with lumps in. Yeah, so it's got lumps of. And these lumps are the plastic knife handles, the light switches. Mostly studded, yes. Star-studded movie, full of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, but Paula, that is where I'm aiming way beyond proficiency. I normally call my classes C3. Yeah, this is past C2. Yeah, this this is would be challenging for a native. Studied. I like the phrase a star studied class. Studied for uh, Hadi, studied for Firdaz. <laughs> the next time your son nuts you, nuts you in the nuts, Leffy, you will. Yeah. You cry when teacher chides me. But you never do anything wrong, teacher. Okay. So, powdered. I guess powdered might work. But I'm much, much happier with studied. T-U-D-D-E-D. Because -D -D. nailed, you like you get a nail and you bang it in. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, buttoned. You button your jacket. You button your shoes. Studied, says Fernandez, very definitely. James Blunt goes for powdered. Powdered with, studied with. I guess it's got this powdery impression of them, and I think powder would, powdered would work, but studied is much, much, much better. Yeah. Cosette. Okay, so let's do one more, and then we're going to stop. Light switch based. Okay, let's do one more. This is the last one, and then it's time to stop. Here, yeah. Shelby, I'm sorry you're just angry. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to give us one. Give us the, the last one. One, one more. The story continues even deeper underground. The entire Shanghai Tower sits on top of a concrete heap, raft, load, bundle one meter thick and covering nearly 900 square meters beneath this are 955 concrete and steel piles a pile is a thing that goes down into the earth deep to give support to the concrete above each a meter in diameter driven up to 86 meters deep into soft ground so, let's see. Rostom. I wrote something for my student and her teacher said he was going on about football for the whole evening. It was a mistake. The teacher didn't know the expression. Panels of an entrance door can be studded with nails. That's very good for learn. Bejeweled, embellished, studied. I like that very much. So, here we go. Oksana goes for raft. Vitali for heap. Royce for raft, vibes for raft, Valentine for heap, count beauty for heap, Manji for raft, sh for heap, Ronan for raft, Leffy for heap, Opa for load, heap for Paula, Reignard for raft, Manji for heap, Patricia for heap, a road studded with cat's eyes. That's very good. Okay, so let's look at these. 
My first question, what shape is a heap and what shape is a raft? Conducive to. Uh, con this is conducive to getting good results. So Surya says raft because there are there are raft foundations. What's the shape of a heap and what's the shape of a raft? A heap is a mound. Is it a mound like this? A load. A load is a shipment. A bundle is where you tie various things together. A bundle of sticks. It's not a bundle because you don't t make a bundle of concrete. Yeah. A heap, says James Blunt. Not heap, load, bundle, must be raft. Well, a raft, you, s you could sail on the uh, sea in a raft. A raft is like this flat boat yeah, that you make out of bits of wood. You see the people trying to escape from a desert island. They uh, try to escape on a raft. The most star-studied, best integrated ensemble. That's very good, Royston. A heap. Notice a heap comes up and down. And the concrete doesn't go out down. It's a long, flat bit. The same shape as a raft. A raft of investments. Okay, a raft is a wide, flat thing. Heap's not the right thing. A slab. Slab would be fine. Yes, a slab would be perfect, Leffy. Yeah. A heap is mountainous. Heap is the wrong shape. Hmm. It's flat. Yeah, raft for Manji. It's a heap. It's not a heap um, slipknot. So, it's a raft. Notice, a raft. A heap is disorderly. A raft is put together. That's very good, Vitali. <coughs> a heap, you just pour it out. Ah, a foundation. That's another good word, slipknot. So, a raft. A raft is tied together. It's made together. Yeah, it's a large, flat area. A rubbish heap. A rescue raft. Yes. Ah, a bundle of joy, as in the song. Could a raft have a top? Not normally. Yeah, maybe a raft has a sail. Ah, like rafters. That's very good. I hadn't thought of rafters, Slipknot. But a raft, yeah, a flat, wide, extending thing. Yeah, I think you, you could put something on top of a raft. Yeah. So I'm going to stop there. Thank you all for coming. It's been a brilliant live stream. It's wonderful to have you all. Um, thank you all so much. Thank you for your donation, Ronan. And uh, who was the other one as well? It was someone I'm not very uh, au fait with. OK, well, thank you all for, for, for the donations. I will be back again next week. As I, as I said, the next stream is... <laughs> OK platform base that's it so uh, today's been very chemical yep it has been very chemical so let's see thank you jerry thank you leffy thank you opa thank you oksana thank you slipknot thank you soira thank you hadi thank you amin thank you vibes thank you vitali thank you patricia thank you manji thank you leffy thank you count thank you julia richmond thank you soira thank you daktar thank you manisco thank you manny thank you paula thank you suhail it's wonderful to have you all thank you ronan um, next stream is going to be on Tuesday next week. Ham, Daktar from India. Great to have you. Thank you, Rostom, as well. A raftsman. That's good. Thank you, Boris. So, next stream, Tuesday, the 26th of July at 10... 10.30 a.m. UK time. 
Thank you, Laurie. Thank you, Falun. Thank you, Renyard. And thank you, anyone else. Thank you, Valentine. Thank you, anyone else I haven't mentioned. So, take care of yourselves.